seriously, what the fuck are you doing? Yo, what is up guys? It's your boy NilkBTV here, back with another video. And today, inside of today's video, we are going to be doing some BFB Coliseum boost only. Um, yeah, the highest arena out right now, and our first opponent is Unknown King. He has a top 100 badge at 98 million medallions, so I'm assuming he amped a division chest or something like that, because to be honest, he does not seem that good. So we're going standard Cobra Mortar Bomb. Some other strategies I'd recommend, in powers, I would say Heli Ice. You can try Heli Ice in this map, but it kind of just gets drained. Um, so yeah, it's basically just depending on your playing style. So I'm going to teach you guys a really quick Cobra opening. So you can go with one Cobra or two Cobras. So I go with the two Cobra. This is the anti-stall star. So two Cobras, put them both on strong. At, uh, six, seven, at 18 seconds, you go for your first wired fund. And at 24 seconds, you go for your second wired fund. And bam, there's your anti-stall Cobra. So what you're gonna do here is you're gonna equal to exactly 257, no more and no less, exactly 257, so you can perfectly afford your mortar at 42 seconds. That's what we're gonna do here. Another alternative is to eco to 270, no two seven, yeah 275, and then you get your your mortar up when the when the round ends. So yeah. So we, as we can see, we have our mortar here, and we leak less lives, but we have less eco versus if we would have done the other way. So, um, yeah, what we're going to be doing here, standard cobra, you just want eco. So on shorter maps, let's say you have like, um, you go mountain pass, you go cobra, boomer, spactory, you want to have le less eco, high amount of cobras. Uh, most people will go for like high amount of cobras. I prefer higher eco because uh, if your adjustment fails, then you still have a high eco. So, yeah, you're fine. Basically, so we're going to be setting greens now. Some people like to get up cobras in between. I just like to full on eco to get um, higher eco, like I said. So, yeah. So, our, our weaknesses of our strategy here is cobra, I mean, regen leads, first of all. Why regen leads, you might ask? So, the Bernie stuff is the only thing that can pop the leads, right? But, um, but since we're going bomb, um, the bomb cannot hit blacks. So, therefore, it's up to the cobras to pop the black layer because mortar is also weak against blacks. So um, the way you want to defeat that is you want to space your Cobras out around the map. Because if they're all in strong, they'll all be hitting lead balloons, right? And none of them can do damage. So, yeah. So we're sending blocks here to try to force anything that we can. And so basically three Cobras and a Bernie Stuff Mortar should solo blocks. But he's going to be leaking down here because he doesn't have that third Cobra. And I stopped setting to go for a little bit of a layered rush. I think that I was going to stop setting, so I'm trying to get him to get more Cobras up. So right here, you uh, also when you're going Cobra, if you have a, what do you call it? If you, you don't, if you have extra money left over, you don't want to just sit on it. You just want to spend it on Cobras. That's my big tip. A lot of people just hold on to money while they're egoing. No, no, it's just useless. Just, it's just better to get more wired funds. So what you're gonna, what we're gonna be doing here, is we're just gonna be ecoing. He's sending us yellows here. So a Bernie stuff mortar, you're gonna leak a little bit to the uh, yellows. That's why I spike here. As you can see, we're gonna leak a lot. Um, the you're fine pretty much if you only leak like a little bit. But if you want to be extra fine, you just got the bigger blast and that's it solo. So uh, I get my bomb down here in the middle. I'm not sure exactly where the best bomb spot is but i just choose here because it's pretty good i don't know why he's shocked that i'm going bomb bomb is meta and boost only versus tack is meta and free power-ups because think about it they cook shot team tower send you bomb unless like is not super good against that but tack you can just maelstrom as long as it's decam wise so yeah so we're going to be getting down cobra see how i'm spacing out my cobras because of the regen leads um so we're just going to be spacing out our cobras here 506 eco and that's pretty good and that cobra so we have as you can see since we're ecoing harder um then as you can see we have way more cobras and probably a bit more eco too so we're setting these space pinks to force up the bigger blast on his side and he does not force it up so he's just sitting on a bunch of money right now because he's not egoing or anything so yeah basically in this midpoint of the game everyone's just getting up cobras so um you want to do the same you don't want to do anything more of us so you see all those cobras that we have that's pretty good um so the main rounds to adjust on i would say adjust on round 16. um that's probably the best round to adjust on and i would say maybe also adjust on round if you if you don't have enough money try um round 18 round 18 also works too a good uh, so if you're going cobra v cobra a way to catch them off guard is to double offensive push around 18 bfb that works pretty consistently that i found um 
And yeah. So here we go. So round 16 right now, as you can see, we're starting to adjust and you see on his side that the ceramic starting to come out. So Cobras are actually a great way to counter Cobra because if all of the Cobras are on strong, shutting the ceramic layer, then it's pretty easy. So all you have to do right here is get a ring of fire in the middle and you should be fine. Okay, my third bud fell out real quick. Okay, so yeah, all you need to do is get a ring of fire and he'll be fine. So what he wants to do here is he wants to send me a Moab because one, it forces a balloon impact on my side and possibly a boost if I get the cluster bomb. So we're just going to be continuing to adjust and since he's adjusting, I get up my cluster bomb too. One more is okay, but things will sneak by. So if it's like as long as it's ceramics and stuff, it might sneak by. Okay, so we forced a boost round 18, which is really, really good for us. So what we want to do here is we want to get up a ring. He wants to, he needs to get up a ring of fire on his side. As you can see how much better bomb is than, than uh, attack against adjustment. So yeah, so we're just going to be mail showing. This is a terrible way to defend adjustment as you just keep uh, leaking. So I get up my double signal flare and we should be chilling until like round 21, round 22. So he just has to continuously mail strum over and over while we're just sitting here pretty with our cluster bomb. So I think I might have to boost here, but always let it pan out um, before because there's a lot of things that like certain pro players will try to make you boost or things like that. And he does go down. So why I'm sending leads there is because the maelstrom cannot go through the lead. So the leads kind of block the maelstrom. So that's why you send leads along with Cobra. And I give him a smiley face. And yeah, we're just going to hop right into the next game. I guys see. All right. So we got our next opponent here. Free Jesus. Um, there's 10 million medallions and the top one regional badge. So definitely not the most, uh, the worst. Or, yeah, he's definitely not the best player, but he's definitely not the worst player. Way better than me. Um, actually, I, have, I would have 90 million medallions if I didn't buy silver. So, yeah. Anyway, so we're got Super Monkey Lane. Um, and I skip it because I'm not good at dart on my map. So we got Hot Sub. You know, the only logical thing to do on Hot Sub is need to form NG. Cobra Sub. Bomb works too. Sobra, Cobra Sub. Hack works too, um, but obviously NFE just counters that. DFA also works too, but NFE obviously is meta on this map. It's just so good. Um, and yeah, so we're just going to be going NFE, the bro most broken strategy in the game. So yeah, let's do this. All right, so what we're going to do here is uh, we're probably, I like my NG start of just going for a farm first and then getting my uh, NG at 24 seconds. But he brings out the boomers, I mean the dartlings, so we're going to have to, um, he's going to anti stall, so we're forced to get up our NG in the beginning. We want to try to go for farm, but we can't. Um, he's smiling at us, even though um, I would say, in my opinion, dartling's not that good a map. So why I do not go for my farm here is because I know if he's, he's going to send a decent amount to try to force everything. So um, that's why I just got up my 9-inch nail because I don't want to leak down so much. Um, so yeah. We're just going to get our farm now. And yeah, let's do this. All right, so we're gonna try. We're trying to force his powerful darts here. The only way he's able to go for his farm is if he does not buy powerful darts. Um, so yeah, so he didn't buy powerful darts. So that's why we're sending Eco here. Um, so for round four, a uh, sentry gun in it and a zero zero engine can defend. But since we already have the nine inch nails, might as well just try to get the sentry on this. So. Um, yeah, so we're going to get the sentry here. I spike once because I don't want to leak too low on this map because um, it's I just don't like leaking too low with NG because usually like one camel lead or something will sneak through. So I'm just going to keep my... I try to keep my spikes as much as I can, but I'm trying not to. So what we're going to do here is we got up a 9-inch nail, a sentry gun, and a NG. And that's what we're rocking with. He has one powerful darts. And we're going to try to go for our farm here. So my tip with NG is try to get your balloon trap by round. Uh, start going through your balloon trap on round 8. Because on round 10, uh, when there's leads, lots of leads sneak through just the cleansing foam. So, yeah. So he's sending me blacks here, which is a good play. Fair play by him. And I'm sending him blacks here because I'm trying to force his next darling. That's expensive. So I just get down another NG because it seems like we're going to leak a lot. But we're not really leaking that much. So that's a bit of an overreaction on my part. But yeah, we have three NGs, and it seems like that's, they're doing pretty well for us. So we're just going to get a fourth one down just because um, to relieve the pressure off all side. Also, that it can also be part of um, all of the, these can be part of selling power to go towards our uh, balloon trap. So yeah. 
so we're gonna it's round seven right now so you can go for one farm on round seven but i would not recommend um trying to greed out and just trying to use the cleansing foam to save yourself because it's really not gonna work um so yeah so i prefer this balloon trap so why you put like um you want the cleansing foam and the balloon trap to layer over each other so the cameras will have a harder time to sneak you through so that's where this spot fits in perfectly so we buy the um the two faster engineerings and yeah so also another tip you want to sell your um sentry guns when you um when you're going for your balloon trap because it gives you more money so he's saying this huge rush yellow rush here um so we just get up three nine inch two nine inch nails and we should be able to help so he's sending this huge ego rush i don't get what's the point of that but yeah he decides to do it anyways so as you can see his tip his darlings are still green which means that he doesn't have a he doesn't have the depleted bluetonium so yeah which means he doesn't have lead detection. So he brings out the boomer. Darling boomer is only for good for grinding. So th we know this guy mo most likely is just gonna all uh, out us round 13. Why give him the face palms? Because it's not a good strap besides that. So that's why I'm getting prepared by placing the second NG. I can tell that he's gonna all us round 13. It's just obvious. Darling boomer sucks late game and it's not gonna be anything good special late game. So he's sending us camel reds here. I sent, I've used my ninja here to block it. Um, cause I'm, cause once the, once the NG doesn't have a, um, doesn't have cleansing foam on it, then it's kind of bad. So what I do here is I sabo and then I get up two jit, I uh, one jitsu. I try to go for my second one. Um, but I still have that selling power at the top and I go for that. So I tower boost and I'm just trying to hold off as much as I can. He, so he spikes. So then I'm trying to, um, so I know that I'm going to die. So I'm trying to send him pinks to end us. And you can see it's pushing really far on his side. And he manages to go down before us and we get the super clutch victory that you probably saw in the thumbnail so yeah um we give him a laughing face because he said destroy to us and it's kind of funny